so cloud computing in a crisis response mode really can help with situational awareness and in information sharing. Uh, just real quickly, uh, all the organizations may go in with their own stuff, uh, their own mapping tools, their own situational awareness, you know, what are they actually doing, and that's not easily shared, and you can't start uh, acting quicker, making better responses from that. In a crisis, it's critical to respond quickly. And if you're talking about surge capacity, if you're talking about setting up servers, changing things dynamically, the cloud gives you that flexibility that, that you probably would not get in other ways. With most infrastructure things, if it's successful, cloud becomes a public utility, right? It becomes just part of the infrastructure and things that we hope for today, we take for granted then. So, you know, the idea that if you're getting a grant to help in a crisis, that this information should be shareable, and oh, by the way, it should be very easy for your organization to do so. Uh, I, I would hope that not only that happens in five years, but all these applications that are built on top of it just as easily because you have access to the data. To me, the cloud uh, is an enabler of that. It does not make it happen, but it's just this, the, you know, this public utility, the lights are working, the, the, you know, the toilet's on, all these kind of things are happening, and now we can just, uh, have a very different order of response. We have an oil response uh, app, oilreporter.org, that we just got put out in place. And, and the idea is for trained volunteers to be able to go to the beach and take pictures that are geotagged, time stamped of birds and so forth. That gets fed up to uh, San Diego State University's uh, visualization lab. And they're going to be having data feeds that everybody can take and do visualizations from. So, you know, all the stuff that National Wildlife Federation, for instance, would capture, they would be able to get a feed of that information. And, uh, you know, I don't know the underlying platform of theirs, but I do know it's cloud based. And so the, the, the hope is if this gets to be significantly huge, that this is going to be able to rapidly adapt. Cloud is again one of these things that, that just gives you opportunities in ways you never thought possible. And, and when you're getting you know, these global networks of volunteers coming in and acting on data and doing interesting things with it, you have no idea where it's going to end up. And, and again, the, the cloud computing I think gives you the flexibility that you don't have to think about it as much up front. Where if you had your traditional infrastructure, that's the first question you need to answer.